What's happened is there is a us versus them line drawn in the sand where women have become so turned off by male behavior that they give in to bitterness and defensive arguments about the role of a man in their lives. I always hear, maybe if men knew how to appreciate a good woman instead of a bad bitch, kids would be raised right. Or tell these men how they should act because we're doing our part. Those attitudes are born from frustration. Women are disgusted that men don't behave the way they are supposed to behave. Meaning, if she treats him nice and respectful, he should treat her the same. That will never happen because men will always have ulterior motives when choosing mates that have nothing to do with what woman holds him down or is most loyal. Instead of sitting back and watching beautiful women crumble because asshole after asshole rejects or discards them, I need to show in the most blatant way possible how any woman can win. It may require white lies, it may require you to forego your Sunday school morality for a few weekends, but it unlocks real power in terms of confidence building and knowing your worth. This book isn't about getting anything from men, it's about getting everything from life. Yes, you and your best friend are independent women who don't need to mind fuck a man because you are self-sufficient. I'll toast to that. You don't need to get spoiled or sponsored because you can treat yourself to a spa day or a handbag. I'll toast to that. Cheers all around because I love that I'm both king and queen power. However, it would be foolish to ignore the truth. The truth is there are many levels of female power and you shouldn't stop learning them because you are a content career woman or married. I don't care what you believe in morally because your morals don't dictate what does or doesn't happen in real life. 